All right, I want to say all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, pushing this doctrine of truth to the nation of Israel, who was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pursuant to the curses of Deuteronomy. All right, I came across this article, so I wanted to do a quick lesson on the uh, devil and his devices, and this is one of his devices. The title reads, Cornell University mandates the jab for students and staff. Now this foreshadows what's to come in a way of these unrighteous decrees and mandates. Okay? Because this is certainly an unrighteous decree to make people take this crap when they don't feel they need it. It should be up to the individual whether or not they want to take this. But see, they're going to mandate this not only here. This is a microcosm of what's to come. Again, this is foreshadowing what these devils plan on doing in the months to come. Okay? Because I think the vast majority of universities are going to follow suit in you know, a matter of weeks, if not months. Okay, after uh, Cornell here. Okay, and in addition to the universities and colleges and community colleges, corporations are going to do the same. The airlines are going to do the same. Okay, fast food restaurants are going to do the same. The malls are going to require the same. Okay, mom and pop restaurants. This is going to be a, a, a nationwide mandate. Okay. So if you don't comply, you're going to be in the or on the fringes of society, okay? They will not allow you to participate unless you agree to take their poison. All right? So that I mean it begs the question, what is in this stuff that's making them want to give it to the entire world because the the, uh, the Crown Royal, if you know what I mean, has a 99.6 or 7 recovery rate. So with a recovery rate that high, it absolutely makes no sense for them to mandate this jab. Okay? I mean, this is beatable like the common cold is. Or like the flu is. Okay? And the common cold is also a virus, but it doesn't kill as many people like the uh, or as the the flu does. Okay, I mean I don't think the common cold actually kills people, but you, you get my point. Uh, the point is is that people recover from the common cold, and it's a virus, right? People cover recover from the flu, and it's the same, right? The same with the Crown Royal. People recover from it. Most people, the vast majority of people that get it, they recover from it and they move on. Okay? It's not fatal for the vast majority of the people, so why are they pushing so hard? You got to ask yourself these questions. Okay? See, there's nothing but wickedness and evil in this agenda. And you have to be able to see it. And if you can't see it, you need to pray for wisdom to be able to see it. Okay, just like Yahweh Shai said, if you have an ear, uh, he who has an e uh, ear, let him hear. Well, you have to pray for that type of discernment, okay, because that's discernment and that's given from on high. But if you don't have the discernment to know or distinguish good from evil, then you're lost and you're going to be a, a casualty to Esau Edom's wickedness, okay? And we're going to see a lot of casualties, spiritual casualties, and, you know, literal, physical casualties as well because people are dropping dead from getting this damn, uh, this jack, okay? I think Marvin Hagler did. Hank Aaron, they all got the jabs, right? So let's go ahead and jump into this article. I'm not going to read too much, but... Let's see. Students and staff have no shot of returning to Cornell this fall if they don't get the 
Crown Royal, Maxine, the school said in a statement. With the recent announcements, announcements of expanded Maxine eligibility in New York and other states and increasing Maxine production, it is likely that all members of our community will be able to obtain um, Maxine sometime this spring or summer, Cornell President Martha Pollock and Provost uh, Michael Kotlikoff wrote Friday. Accordingly, Cornell intends to require Maxine's for students returning to Ithaca, Geneva, and Cornell Tech campuses for the fall semester. Exceptions will be made for those with religious and medical exemptions, the statement says. Well, that's only going to be short-lived. Trust me on that. How long is that going to last? And I wonder if you tell them you're an Israelite, are they going to allow that exemption? Well, I wouldn't imagine that Israelites can be going to Cornell. I mean, you very well could be, but well, we know how that is. The announcement comes after Governor, uh, Governor Cuomo said Monday that anyone above the age of 16 will be eligible for the vaccine in New York beginning April 6. Cornell expects vaccine access will lead to herd immunity. That will allow all in-person classes to resume to their pre-pandemic state in the fall. All right, we all know that this is a prelude to the uh, to the mark all right and I'm just gonna say that this is a prelude to the mark if you know what I mean okay we know what the devil's agenda is and we know what's prophesied to happen in these last days okay concerning the mark let's jump to the scriptures let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs because this is talking about the devil Esau Edom the so-called white man. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. Mischief is evil. Wickedness. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. All right? They're not sleeping unless they're doing evil. They're causing people to fall. Causing people to get caught up in their web of deceit. Lies. Wickedness. All right? They don't sleep unless they're killing people. Right? We know what their agenda is. One of their agenda um, uh, criteria or details is they want the population of the world to decrease by a couple billion people. Right? So it begs the question, what are they going to do to achieve that? Okay? Something on a mass scale that's going to cause a lot of death and destruction. Verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. All right, and that Maxine is the bread of wickedness because there's nothing good in it, right? I mean, it was created less than a year ago and they're already pushing it on the entire world. We got several pharmaceutical companies that have... Um, their own version that they're charging these governments to uh, administer to the to the population, and guess what? Guess who gets get guess who gets rich? They do. They get rich. They get rich while you get sick. Okay. Some of you die. And this is why they're going to push it. This is why they're pushing it. So, so tough. All right. So I know, or we know, that this is ultimately a prelude to the mark. So you got to be sober and you got to be vigilant. Let's go ahead and get that. Because these devils, they're up to something. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Okay? So he's walking about as a roaring lion, trying to devour the saints. That's what this is about. Okay? But you have to be vigilant. You got to be sober. You got to be circumspect, looking around you. 
all right? Inspecting everything that comes your way, such as these jabs, okay, these vaccines. This is what you have to do because otherwise you'll get caught up in his web of deception, all right? You listen to his smooth words, all right? Justifying or rationalizing wickedness and you can get caught up. It's easy. It's easy to follow that, that herd. It's funny they use herd immunity because what's happening now is people are following the herd mentality. Oh, I better follow suit so I can uh, remain you know, a part of society. So I'll be considered normal like everybody else. Not knowing that at some point you're going to compromise yourself and ultimately you are going to take that mark and be destroyed by Heavenly Father when judgment comes, right? Next, let's go to the book of Job, chapter 13, verse 4. One of my favorite scriptures. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Yes, they are, forgers of lies. They're all about lies. That's part of their sword, right? Their sword isn't all about killing and destroying people. It's all about that, that web of deception, okay? The power of the tongue, the power of their words, being able to trick you into doing wickedness, you know, when they disguise it as good, okay? This is, this is their power. This is, this is a, uh, a tool of, of uh, power, right? Because... They're not forcing it on people yet. And look how many millions of people have agreed to take this jab with just their words, okay? With the fear tactics that they, that they employ um, by way of their media. CNN, Fox, MSNBC. People are scared. People are scared. All right? Now, there's no mask mandate at the gyms anymore, but you still, you still see people walking into the gym wearing masks. Because they're in fear. See, the propaganda, they're feeding into this nonsense. Right? So, again, a part of the power of their sword is the power of lies. The power of deception with their words. Next scripture. Let's go to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians. Chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right? And Maxine is a device. It's a device to do wickedness. It's a device to lure you in and hook you and ensnare you. Okay? To put you under his spell so he can mark you. Okay? We honestly believe that that's what this is all about. And by the looks of it, Absolutely. I would have to say so if I were a betting man. This is why they're pushing it on a worldwide scale. Not to mention that they're, they're doing this for financial gain as well, but this is about control. And if you don't see that now, I don't know what to tell you. You are blind. All right. Last scripture. We always pull this one up. Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. His wickedness is always there. Okay? And it's going to intensify. It's going to grow the way rust does on iron. Because he's the wicked. Esau eat him. Though he humble himself and go crouching. And that's what they're doing now with this, this Maxine. Yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. No, they can't wipe away their wickedness any more than you can wipe away rust from an old iron piece. Okay? Set him not by thee. Stay away from this devil. Lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last, remember my words and be pricked therewith. Stay away from this devil and his devices. Okay? You're protected 
by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And if he wants anything, uh, he's going to protect you. He's going to protect you with the blood of the lamb. Okay? Now, if you're wicked, you get no protection. But you repent. You return to the ways of the Heavenly Father. Have faith more than anything. And allow him to protect you. Then you're protected. You don't have anything to worry about. Okay? So, anyway. Just wanted to do a quick lesson. I hope it was uh, edifying, Lord, as well. I want to say all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Till next time, Shalom.